I've known that I love karate for a long, long time now, since high school. And I think that part of the reason you know, that really pushed me to having no doubt in my mind about a proposal was seeing the way that we handled being separate in college and then just coming back for that first Christmas break and just like absolutely realizing that like, you know, this is someone who I can't spend this my life without. I first knew I loved Drew when we were actually 17 years old. Um, it was the first time we took off the top of his Jeep and we rode around Palm Beach and I just looked over to him and I was like, I love this kid. He's awesome. And I just was so comfortable and he made me feel so safe. And then um, a couple years ago, we went away to Georgia. It was our first like solo away trip and we rented a Airbnb and we hiked all day and I knew that I wanted to marry him when we set the fire alarm off and we were trying to make cookies and it went terribly and we just had the best time laughing through it all and I just knew I wanted him to be my husband so I'm so looking forward to today. I've been waiting seven long years for this day. So yes. <laughs> I'm definitely most looking forward to seeing Carly walk down the aisle. We've been dating for seven years so there's been a lot of build up and lots of talks of getting married and I'm in love with Carly, and she's the most beautiful woman in the entire world, so in a weird way I'm excited for it to be over because that means that we'll be married. I think I'm most looking forward to just that moment where Drew turns around and sees me for the first time in my dress. I've kept it a secret all these long months, and I'm so, so excited for him to see me. I'm sure it'll uh, be some kind of intricate design, something very beautiful. Yes, let's do a spin. Let's do a spin. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let me get the full view. Wow, nice. I literally think it's the one thing I told you I had to do it and then I didn't do it. Okay. into this room and I kind of feel like Johnny Cash standing next to June cause before the night is over I know I'll get introduced as that lucky guy that's known for loving you I could strike it big in Vegas I could buy a path of Texas everybody knows my name from here to Timbuktu so I'm gonna put it on my stones girl I know that when I'm gone no matter what I did or didn't do I'll be you. I can read it on their faces like the front page of New York Times. They can't believe that I'm the one that hold you close at night. Oh, but trust me, baby, that's okay with this old fool if I ain't known for nothing else but loving you. Yeah, I could strike it big in Vegas. I could buy a path of Texas. Everybody knows. So I'm gonna put it on my stones, girl I know that when I'm gone No matter what I did or didn't do I'll be known for loving you yeah. They could put me in the mood they could put me on the cover of the Rolling Stone, but girl, I know it's true. Yeah, I could strike it big in Vegas, I could buy a path of Texas, everybody know my name, from here to Timbuktu, so I'm gonna put it on my stones, girl, I know that when I'm gone, no matter what.
2,589 days. 2,589 days of us eating Chipotle while watching The Office in your truck. Days of me having to repeat myself. Days of you stealing the fish I'm trying to catch. Days of me falling out of tree stands when you take me hunting with you. <laughs> Days of long drives in the mountains and us singing at the top of our lungs. Days of your ability to have fun and laugh in every situation. Days of loving your beautiful and gentle heart, always making me feel completely safe. And 2,589 days of being in love with my best friend. I commit to you today that I will love you every single second of every day since the moment I laid eyes on you. I promise to love you more tomorrow than today when we walk down this aisle. I promise to love you more when you're hurting than when you're happy. I promise to love you more than when we're poor than when we're swimming in riches. I promise to love you more when you're crying than when you're laughing. I promise to love you more when you're sick than when you're healthy. I promise to love you more when you hate me than when you love me. I will continue to love you more and more with every struggle we have. I always promise to choose forgiveness. I promise to fight as a team against the enemy, not against each other. I promise to be quick to hear, slow to anger, to be passionate and submit everything to you. I will never stop pursuing you and chasing after you. Above all, I promise to love you wholeheartedly because love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. I am your covenant partner. We are no longer two flesh, but one, and therefore what God has joined together, let no man separate. This love won't be easy, but I know it will be the greatest thing I'll ever do. Today, 2,589 days becomes forever. Seven years ago, I laid eyes on a girl for the first time that completely took my breath in every way. We were at a concert in her hometown, and it took me nearly 20 minutes to work up the nerve to go and talk to her. After I finally did go up to her, she promptly shot me down. <laughs> After some persistent attempts to see her and lots of coffee that I ended up buying for her, <laughs> she finally agreed to give me a shot. Now, here we are. I stand here, Carly, and I'm more in love with you now than I've ever been before. And I promise to continue to keep falling deeper in love with you than I ever have been and I am right now. I love you, and I promise to keep on loving you for the passion you exude for everything you do. I love you, and I promise to keep loving you for your ambition to love and serve others. I love you, and I promise to keep loving you for the care you show for me, my family, and all those around us that we love. I love you for being the first one I call after a successful hunt, a good meeting, or anything else that I know you don't care about, but you still listen intently and cheer me on the whole way. Most of all, I love you, and I promise to keep loving you for you. Come what may, I know that I will have you by my side, and this will be enough. In 1 Corinthians 13, 1, Paul writes, If I speak in tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am but a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Carly, for a long time, I was nothing but a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal, but you showed me what it means to love. You pushed me closer to Christ and into continuing the deeper depths of love for you. I promise to continue to pursue a marriage that honors God and honors you. Thank you for the last seven years of my life, and I cannot wait for the rest of them to be spent with you. Carly, as you place the ring on Drew's left hand, there it is, repeat after me. Okay. Drew, I give you this ring. Drew, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. It's a constant reminder. It's a constant reminder. Of our unbreakable covenant. Of our unbreakable covenant. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and Drew, as you place the ring on Carly's finger, repeat after me. Carly, I give you this ring. Carly, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. It's a constant reminder. It's a constant reminder. Of our unbreakable covenant. Of our unbreakable covenant. I love Carly because of the passion that she exudes for everything that she does, um, including me and including my family and those that we love. Um, yeah, Carly is the most, you know, wholehearted, passionate, caring person I've ever met. 
She doesn't do anything less than 100% ever. And that's just one of the main reasons why I'm in love with her. Um, I just love how infectious his smile, his laugh, his energy is. He just has the sweetest soul and he's just utterly selfless. He really caters to all my needs and I have so many, always. <laughs> he, he deals with me, he loves me so beautifully and I just, I know our life is just going to be so beautiful because he is the greatest man I've ever known. When I was a little girl I always could dream about what my wedding day was going to look like and who I was going to be marrying and he truly is all of that I could have ever dreamed of. He is my Prince Charming, he is everything and more I could have ever wanted. That's one of these horror floors And tonight I'll see you spin around Take my hand and let you dance And pretend there ain't nobody else in town And tonight there ain't nobody else around And tonight there ain't nobody else in town He has a little life and lives and breathes like a soul. Here now it brings in us living on the world. The world. That's what.